Hey guys, today we're going to be unboxing this MacBook Air. Now this one that's right beside it is the new one, the one that has Touch ID. I just wanted to show you the difference between this one and then this one that you can still buy, but this one doesn't have the Touch ID. So this one's the cheaper version and this one's the brand new one. So this is a 2018 model, although you can buy right now in 2019. And this one's the one that came out way before. So this one's the classic one. So we're just going to start unboxing this guy and then we're going to take a look at both of them, just compare them to see what the big differences are between them physically and then we're gonna do a few tests later on however for now what we can see inside here we're gonna see the charger we have the cable right here okay and right here we obviously have all the stickers and stickers and manual right here we've got our power cable all right, so you guys can do with extension or without it. And that's the connection that you guys have. So you guys could hook it up just like this, or you guys can hook up with the extension, all right? So you don't need the extension the whole time. That's up to you guys if you guys want to use the extension or not. So here's the MacBook Air. So you guys can see the connections on the side. So we have USB, that's where we charge it up. We have for your headphones. Some lights, nothing underneath. We have some ventilation right here. All right, let me just take this away. All right, so if we keep looking around, we're gonna see SD card, USB, and yep, we have our Thunderbolt right there. It's normal. Down here, again, there's nothing, just some ventilation. So we're gonna open this guy up so you guys can see how thin it is, how it looks like. Now with newer Macs, I'm used to them turning on as soon as I open them up, but this one's older model, so it doesn't turn on once you open up the lid. So here we go, that's a better view of it. Now we're gonna see that it does feel as thin as the other MacBooks, the newer one. However, obviously I can see the connections are different. So here you go, just around it, so you guys can see how thin it is. Pretty lightweight. It feels lighter than the newer ones for some reason, or it is actually lighter than the other ones, but it does feel lighter for some reason. All right guys, so I will be doing a setup video plus a test on this MacBook. I'm gonna show you the other one beside this one right now. Now here they are side by side. As you guys can see, this one's bigger than this guy. So I put this guy on top. It's gonna be around that much bigger, all right. Here's the newer model, 13 inch. So we're gonna open them up so you guys can see the difference. But before we do that, uh, the newer one, we only have two USB-C ports right here. And that's it. As you guys can see, we only have this input here. And that's it for this new Mac. So the newer model just has that, whereas this one we can clearly see has more connections, but no USB-C. So USB-C is, is kind of the future but this one doesn't have that, this one has that. And uh, that doesn't mean that you guys can't use this with a regular USB. It's just that you guys will need adapters in order for this to work like this one does. So here they are side by side. You guys can see that the keyboard looks pretty much the same. This one has, that the keyboard itself is a bit more elevated than this one. This one's a little bit closer. Um, so that means this has a bit more texture to it. So you can kind of feel the keys a little bit more than this guy, but that's the newer models anyways for all MacBooks. Now this one, I can see that the trackpad itself is bigger than the trackpad right here. I can also see that the screen doesn't go all the way to the edges. Don't be fooled by the black right here. It doesn't, but um, it's not like this one right here where you guys can see all this, all right? This one doesn't go all the way to the edges, but it does go pretty close to it. Another obvious difference, obviously, you have Touch ID with the newer one. The older one, you just have the power button. That doesn't mean that this one doesn't have a power button. The Touch ID is the power button, so you guys can just force shut it down by pressing that. Right now it's turning on, so I'm going to turn it off. All right, so those are obvious differences. Obviously, this is just an unboxing. And we're not gonna be running all those tests and all that stuff. It's just for you guys to see like the physical aspects and what's different between the two. Obviously, newer ones tend to be faster than older ones, just because this one has Cordua and all those specs. I'm not gonna go over those. Again, if we're looking at the physical aspects, we're gonna see that this feels just as thin as this. 
All right, now remember I mentioned that this felt a bit heavier than this one? Well, I'm wrong, they, they feel kind of the same actually, feeling wise, all right? No, I'm not saying that's exactly it. So I'm gonna close them up so you guys can see how thin they both are and see if you guys see the difference between the thinness between one or the other. So I'm gonna lift this one up a little bit more so you guys can see. So to me, they look just as thin. Yeah, although this one's bigger, sure. This one looks just as thin as this guy right here. It's the older model, so I don't see that as a huge change. However, yes, it's smaller. As you guys could see, this one is smaller, significantly smaller. If we look at the bottom from it, we're gonna notice that pretty much the same ventilation. We just have it down here below. Now, like I mentioned, USB-C, and we have all these imports right here. Well, this one's just to charge it up. Then the other side, same deal, we don't have pretty much nothing, just this. And then we have our SD card, USB. So those are the clear differences between this Mac, okay, that's older generation, and the new generation MacBook Airs. I wouldn't really say what you guys have to buy, whether it's an older one or the newer one. Yes, this is cheaper. So sure, why not? Macs do last a long time. So maybe it depends on your needs, really. And uh, this one is bigger. So if you guys really want something smaller, might as well get the newer one. It does have different features than this one, obviously. But if you guys want to be a little bit more comfortable for now, this has USB, <laughs> all right? This has USB-C. So if you guys want to plug in a regular USB, you are going to have to buy an adapter in order for this one to work with a regular USB drive. Whereas this one, you don't. This is, you're good to go, even an SD card. As with the newer version, again, you're going to have to buy an adapter in order for this to work with an SD card or anything like that. So that can be annoying. Same goes with external hard drives, which a lot of people that I know that use MacBook Airs end up buying because the space isn't enough. And same deal, you're going to have to buy that adapter. But anyways, once you guys have that adapter from USB-C to USB, regular USB port, then you guys are good to go with the new one. The older version has still the old inputs, so you guys will be a little bit more comfortable that way until everybody else catches up and we start making external hard drives and USB drives um, that have USB-C imports, well, outputs I should say. Anyways, that's it for this quick unboxing. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write them down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.